and he's telling you everything you need to know to survive high school, okay? I got you. A lot of people are wondering what your first day of high school will look like. Everyone is not your friend. What you said about somebody is gonna get back to them. Should I date in high school? What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Lauren and today I'm here with another video. So for today's video, as you can tell by that title, I'm going to be giving you all a freshman advice video. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know to survive high school, okay? I got you. So make sure you go ahead and like this video up. Comment down below any questions you have. I would definitely answer them. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And you know what? We're going to get straight into the video. So for this video, I'm going to start off by answering your frequently asked questions about high school. And then I'm going to get into the tips and all that. A lot of people are wondering what your first day of high school will look like. Most likely, you will be going to a new school. So you might be a little intimidated. You might be nervous. Matter of fact, you might already be nervous before you even walk in the building. That's okay. That's normal. We all feel that way. The first day will most likely be filled with a bunch of classes where you're just doing icebreakers, talking to other students, and really just getting to know each other, getting familiar with the school. So don't be afraid to talk to other people. Go ahead and try to start establishing friends. Don't be afraid to talk because it's school, but it's just school. And you're gonna be seeing these people all year long. So you might as well go ahead and become friends with them. Make sure you also pay attention to the layout of your school. I know it can be real intimidating when you're trying to find your classes and what floor you have to go to and what side of the hallway it is. So make sure that when you find your class, just make a mental note of it. You're not gonna know where all your classes are without your schedule after the first day. You're just most likely not gonna do that. I think it maybe took me about two weeks to actually figure out where all my classes were to the point where I didn't have to use my schedule. So it is okay, don't be in a rush. Don't think that you're moving too slow. You're new to this and you just have to get used to it. It's okay, just take it day by day and I promise you eventually it'll get better. Another question asked is what you should be prepared for. High school is different from middle school and definitely elementary school. So you need to be prepared for the students. Most likely the school you're going to is going to have a lot more students than your middle school had because you have 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Prepare yourself for crowded hallways, maybe having to wait in a line to go to the bathroom. There's definitely gonna be a lot more action going on and a lot more people in the building. And with more students comes more teachers, with more people comes more attitudes. <laughs> there are gonna be teachers that you're cool with, that you love, they are the highlight of your day. And then there's also gonna be teachers that you really don't want to see it's okay we all have our favorites we all have the people we dislike honestly you just have to learn to live with it and not let it make or break your day and you have to remember especially if you have friends from middle school that you're going to high school with high school is really a growing point like once you get out of high school you're going to be an adult so people are changing people are doing different things so if you came from being best best friends with one person and then now y'all in high school y'all go to different high schools or you don't have that many classes together you all might start to go down different paths. It doesn't have to be any hard feelings or anything like that, but people grow apart and you're definitely going to experience that. So just know that that's okay too. It's not that you did something wrong. It's just that you all might not be as close as you used to. Not just scare you. You definitely can keep your friends from middle school, but you're not going to keep all of them. The next question is, what should I focus on most? What you need to focus on most in high school is your grades. I cannot stress this enough. I'm not saying you have to make all A's, that would be great, but you need to focus on your grades. Your grades really do matter in high school. I know people are always talking about junior year, that's your most important year. Yes, it is, but all your years in high school are important. You need to make sure you keep up on your grades because that is going on your record. So if you make really, really bad grades in ninth grade year, but then make all good grades the rest of your high school experience, that ninth grade year of grades are still on your record. You definitely don't have to be perfect, but try to be consistent. Make sure you study when you need to. It can be easy to slip off track. You need to stay on top of your game. And that question goes into this next question. How do I balance school with sports, extra activities, and myself? Honestly, the key to that is time management. For instance, if you know it takes you an hour to do your homework and you know your practice after school is two hours, that's three hours that you need to set out of your day every single day. Don't get on your phone during your homework time because then you're going to run out of time and then you're going to wake up in the morning trying to rush and do your homework or do it right before class. Set 45 minutes out to be on your phone. 
set an hour out as your study time and set that two hours out for practice or whatever activity you have going on for that time and that way you can add up your time know what time of the day you're officially done and then the rest can be free time but don't just kind of do whatever when you want to it's definitely best to have a schedule so you can stay on track and it'll definitely help you in the long run so time management is key. another question i know you all have is should i date in high school i personally think dating in high school is fine but What's the most important thing? Your grades. So if dating interferes with your grades, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to cut the other person off. So you need to make sure you stay on top of your grades. Now, if you can balance them, do your thing. But if it becomes a distraction, I don't wanna sound like your parent, but you gotta let it go. You gotta choose one and you need to choose those grades. <laughs> this makes you also remember that you're in high school. So don't, don't go doing anything crazy don't go saying anything crazy. Don't make promises you can't keep because you are in high school. And don't get anybody who's too older than you. If you're in ninth grade, do not talk to a 12th grader. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -mm. So those are the most frequently asked questions. If you have some more, of course, you can comment them down below. Now I'm going to get into some tips that will help you survive high school. First is asking questions ask those questions because nine times out of ten i know you've heard this before somebody else has the same question and they don't want to ask and i know you're probably like well i'm just gonna wait for somebody else to ask the question then no go ahead and ask that question because it'll benefit you and other people in the classroom i know it might be embarrassing but it's definitely more embarrassing to fail a whole class or fail a whole test because you were too embarrassed to ask the question than to just ask the question and then you ace the test and maybe everybody else didn't because they didn't want to ask the question you know so just go ahead and ask that question it'll get easier as time comes if you don't want to ask in front of the whole class maybe you can send your teacher an email asking questions is definitely important you need to get that clarification this is a big one especially for me i'm still learning how to do it but don't procrastinate do not do it i just don't want to sit here and tell you things that you need to do and things you don't need to do but this is something you do not need to do. It's gonna happen, but don't make it a habit. Like I said, focus on time management. Procrastination is probably what's gonna hurt you the most in high school if you make it a regular habit. Now, I'm not gonna judge you for it because I did it all the time, okay? I would definitely wait till the morning of the test to study and then wonder why I didn't do as good because I studied that morning. Like, it was bad. It wasn't, oh, I'm just gonna study and cram the night before. No, I'm waking up in the morning studying for a test I have at 8 a.m. <laughs> as soon as you get an assignment, as soon as you get homework, if you have time left in class, instead of getting on your phone, do the homework. If you have free time in another class, work on your homework. Turn your work in before the due date instead of on the due date, and especially before after the due date. If you know you have a test on Friday, don't wait till Wednesday and Thursday to study. Study on Monday, study on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So by Friday, you are prepared for the test and you're not there Thursday night like I was plenty of times struggling cramming and then eventually just giving up and saying you're gonna win next tip is to try not to compare yourself to others I know this can be really hard especially in high school you see all these athletes or people who are making great grades and things like that and you're like I need to be like them I need to do that I need to wear what they wear I need to have a new hairstyle every week like they do you don't need to compare yourself to others. You are fine just the way you are. If you're making low grades, yes, you need to try to work a little bit harder to get those grades up, but don't do it just because somebody else is doing it. Do it because it's benefiting you. Do it because it's helping you and do it at the pace that benefits you and not how somebody else is doing it. And yes, I know that is a lot easier said than done, especially when you're seeing these people every single day. It is easier said than done, but try not to do it, especially if it brings you down, brings your spirit down, brings your mood down. You want to stay away from that negativity and you want to make this high school experience more fun and stress-free as possible. Just stay in your own lane and do your own thing. Have fun. And like I was talking about earlier, the next tip is to study. I feel like during the beginning of the school year, you know, we're like studying, we're doing this. But then after about winter break, everybody's just over it. Everybody is just ready to go home. Everybody is ready for summertime. We're tired of these assignments because it's like we're doing the same thing every single day. Review this, take a test, review this, take a test, review this. Like, can we switch it up a little bit? But study. I know some people, they don't study. They're just like, oh, I'm going to wing it. And it works out in their favor. But sometimes it doesn't. Literally 10 minutes a day is better than nothing. You're going to be on your phone for an hour a day. So you can take 
15 minutes out of your day to study. <laughs> stay out of fights, stay out of mess, stay out of drama. Going back to making this a fun, stress-free experience. Always getting in someone else's business, always getting in drama. One is not a good look in high school. And you might be thinking, I don't care what people think about me. I don't care what people think about me. Your reputation is very important in high school. You don't know what doors you're opening for yourself in high school until you get out in the real world. And this person from high school is like, hey, you know, I have this is this going on. I would love for you to do this is this. And you're like, wow, like I didn't even know they checked me out like that. But you don't know how you made a person feel like if you were really nice to them, they can hit you up 10 years later. And then now y'all are popping, doing y'all thing versus if you were a bully. Now, since you were acting like that in high school, you've closed all your doors for yourself. So don't be the instigator. Don't egg on fights. Don't try to start fights. Just try to stay out of mess and mind your business as much as possible. Now, if somebody starts something with you, oh, you better be the one to finish it, okay? But don't let anybody walk over you. Don't let anybody play in your face. Don't let anyone mistreat you because this is a building you have to come to every single day. You need to feel safe. And I know it can be a little intimidating to stand up for yourself, but you have to be the advocate for yourself. So if somebody tries to mess with you, you put them in their place the first time, not the second, not the third. You let them know from the jump, this is my name, this is who I am, and I'm not to be messed with. It's nothing wrong with finishing an argument. Just don't start. Have good relationships with your teachers. This is so important. It's a lot of people who go to high school and you know, you like, I'm in high school, I'm in high school, I'm older now. These teachers, they get on my nerves, so I'm gonna disrespect them. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're talking about. And I'm not gonna lie, some of them, they don't know what they're doing. You're like, how did you even get here? But a lot of them, they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. Just because you think it's annoying to find a circumference of a circle in the area of three triangles, that's their job. So they have to make you do it. They have to teach you how to do it. Even though you're like, this is unnecessary, they have to do it. So build those good relationships with those teachers because one, it'll be easier for you to ask them questions if you don't understand. And two, if your grades are slipping a little bit, you can go to them and be like, hey, um, can I get some extra credit work to bring my grade up? And I promise you, because I've done it before, they will most likely be willing to give you extra credit work than a teacher who you disrespect all the time. A teacher who you are kind to will most likely let you do fun things, let you get away with stuff more often, give you extra credit and things like that. Not showing favoritism, but they're just like, I appreciate you being a little nice for everybody else. So, you know, hey, go run this down to the office for me. You know, you can kind of get out of class a little bit. Or if they only have five students to send on this field trip, you can be selected as one now. I'm not saying be a teacher's pet because nobody likes those. Don't be all up under the teacher. Don't ask the teacher a thousand questions every day. Don't think you are a teacher, but just respect them. Respect does go both ways though. If the teacher not respecting you, okay, I can understand why you're just like, yeah, it is what it is. But try to have some type of respect, some type of good relationship with your teachers because it definitely will benefit you in the long run. Everyone is not your friend. Let me say that again. Everyone is not your friend. You can't trust everybody. You can trust some people definitely, but you cannot trust everybody. So me personally, I would not advise you to tell your deepest dark secrets to the first person you met in high school. Because if they get mad at you, they know your deepest darkest secret and they can let it out, okay? I mean, it would be wrong of them to do that, but they can. Everyone is not your friend. You're not gonna click with everyone. So don't force it. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, leave it out, okay? Everyone's not Look, your friend. In the beginning of the year, join clubs. This is one thing I kind of do wish I did because in ninth grade, I was really not trying to join clubs. I was like, uh, I don't really know y'all like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay to myself and do my own little thing. But I would definitely advise you to join clubs. One, it's an easier way to make friends. And then these friends that you're making, they're most likely to last because you're gonna be seeing them on a regular basis in these clubs and y'all have something in common. Whatever club y'all are in is most likely because you like it. So y'all can bond over that. So make friends so you can have a great time, build these good relationships and just have an enjoyable high school experience and you're not just stressed out about grades and studying all the time. Have that chill time. Next tip is to stay away from people that bring you bad energy. This means people who try to force you to do things you don't wanna do, AKA peer pressure. 
you do not want to put yourself in a situation like that so to avoid that stay away from these people as people like to say cut them off don't get caught up in thinking you have to be friends with every single person you don't. bring every single thing you need to school what i mean by this is if you know you have pe that day bring your pe clothes even if you think you packed them the night before check in the morning and make sure you have them before you get in the car before you get on the bus make sure you have it you don't want to have to call home and have somebody bring it up or you forgot your airpods at home so now you have to sit and listen to everyone talk pack everything you need so you're not stuck in that situation another tip is that organization is key really the two tips to mastering high school is one time management and two organization stay as organized as possible so that you are the best version of yourself and like i said earlier you have a stress-free experience because high school can either be really fun and really chill or stressful like crazy when you get a paper from class don't just throw it in your book bag put it in the folder it belongs dedicate different days to do different things have different folders different notebooks for different classes stay organized and you will be all right don't gossip do not gossip to other people about other people for other people along with staying away from drama do not gossip because i can promise you what you said about somebody is gonna get back to them and then when they get back to them they're gonna confront you and then when they confront you you're gonna be sitting there looking stuck and then that's when conflict starts to happen conflict starts to rise hands get thrown and people get expelled so to avoid all of that mind your business i'm telling you minding your business will save you so much stress will get you out of so much drama because when you gossip with people then you're just known as a gossiper it goes back to reputation like all this stuff is tied into each other when you gossip it go back it goes back to your reputation and so if your reputation is known for being someone who always has something to say about another person boom now you already have a target on your back because you already just like to talk about people and then something could happen that somebody is talking about someone that you know you're not even talking about the person but all of a sudden your name is being thrown into it because people know you as a gossiper so now you're in a whole bunch more drama that you don't have to be in and now what's the most important thing clearing your name up and getting out of all this drama or having to manage all these different arguments you're going in when the most important thing should be your grades <laughs> so stay out of gossip do not gossip <laughs> lastly is taking notes i know that taking notes is personally very helpful for me because i have eight classes i know, I know some people have eight but a lot of people only have six or seven classes but i have eight and i'm not gonna remember every assignment everything the teacher said in each class remind you there's eight of them so taking notes in class is definitely very helpful for me taking notes of the powerpoints jotting down important things that the teacher says maybe websites that are helpful that can help me stuff i know that i need to do when i get home taking notes can definitely be beneficial i like writing so i always write my notes but jotting them down on your computer or typing them in on a notepad on your phone can also work as well take notes so that you don't fall behind and that you're always a step ahead. Alrighty, so that is all that i have for this video now you are prepared for high school if you take these notes you're gonna be just fine i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it was beneficial to you make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below any questions you have if this video was helpful other content you want me to make and most importantly do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i drop a video and i will see you in the next video peace